I can proudly say that I have a great team standing behind me and making sure that we are doing everything we need to to keep everybody safe. One of the greatest things about this collection center is we sent out a list for volunteers who wanted to come down and help. And within 24 hours, we had 162 staff volunteer to come down and help take care of our patients. You know, I have led my focus on this, on really going with the science, but also remembering that these are people. Everybody is worried and everybody is scared. And I just like to give them the reassurance that we are making sure that we are doing everything we can based on the data and science we have. We had about a week to turn a place that was not accepting patients at the time, it had been shut down for a few years, into a site that would be able to serve as this collection center. And I remember driving to work and really nauseous and thinking this is going to totally not work. And by the end of the day, I've been at UPMC for 14 years and I walked out and I was in tears in my car. It was the best day I've ever worked. I felt good to see the team come together and build this amazing process that keeps the staff safe and really, really helps out our community and keep these patients out of our hospitals. I really appreciate you and you make it proud to work at UPMC. One, two, three, go! I have built the entire process around orientation, making sure the staff have the appropriate supplies, my goal from the beginning was to have a patient walk in the door and out of the door in less than 10 minutes. We are now doing it on an average of four minutes per patient. You know, thank you for taking the time to just pause and explain this to me as a person and thank you for all you're doing. And it sounds really weird, but just hearing that really, really gets me through the day. My mama's my hero. I think it's important for everybody to remember that we are working this hard to really do the right thing and help with this. And we are sacrificing a lot. I'm not used to being away from my daughter this much. She's not used to it either. But just remember to hold on to those little things because there could come a time in your life where you turn into me and you don't get to spend as much time with the people you love that you really want to. You just got to do what you have to do in these times and I know at the end it'll pay off and hopefully I can take my daughter on a nice vacation when it's over. <laughs>